So, Max, once he hitting out there, everything on track? Yeah, Max looked really good, had a good day. Uh, so, just talked to him briefly, and uh, I just can't imagine him not being at third base um, on Tuesday, and then we'll probably give him a day off that Wednesday, and then back in there on uh, Thursday. So, feels, feels good. Chris Stay, you're out there shagging flies, where is he staying? Yeah, CT, we're gonna IL him. Uh, so we'll IL him. Uh, it just didn't, it's not uh, completely healed, and you can just see he's uh, compensating. Uh, so we'll backdate a few days, and um, that's why we got uh, Yanni Hernandez here, who taxied a couple times. Uh, he'll be active. Is there anything structurally wrong with Chris? Um, I, I do know it's it's uh, it, it's a it's a bone bruise, um, but I but I think with with everyone there's there's always something with the knee. So I don't know specifically what it is. Um, he's as tough as anyone, and so it just. Just doesn't look right. Yeah, I mean, those, those like, bats in Anaheim, has it, worse it just no, it hasn't gotten any better. And so, just the value of having him taking at bat, not play defense, it just as opposed to giving him some more time made more sense. How long do you think he might be down? Um, you know what? I, I don't know. Um, I, I do know that it's going to be at least a week. You know, given the back date, um, not certain. Is he going to keep doing stuff, or are you guys going to? I think he'll. Uh, the swinging uh, doesn't affect him, so I think swinging, uh, throwing the baseball, fine, and hopefully just time makes it feel better. Rehab assignment before he comes back. Uh, I think that's contingent on um, how long, but like we did with Max, I think we can build in some simulated games so we can potentially not have to uh, do that we have assignment. I know you guys were kind of did the cortisone shots or anything else? Uh, with, uh, with that, uh, the bone bruise, I don't think uh, they said it'll help. Yeah. Um, Hudson pitched OKC uh, today. He did. Is he done or is he going to be Huddy is, uh, I, I don't know that answer. I know he did an up down today, which was great. Um, I think he's got one more. Um, I think he's got one more in Arizona on Tuesday. And then he'll come join us on Friday in Kansas City. Did you see anything that gave you reason for concern and what are you looking for today? Um, nothing of concern. Um, I think uh, with this lineup, uh, he has the weapons to get these guys out. Um, I just think he made a couple, couple things, pitches we'd like to have back, but I think overall Tony's still in the baseball really well and extra rest I feel good about today. Is he still having issues bouncing back between outings? Um, no. This one, the last outing and then this one in between starts has been really good actually. Hey Dave, every rookie goes through, you know, down times in their first year. What have you seen from Vargas? Do you feel like he's ever gotten on a roll at the plate yet this year? Uh, I don't think he's gotten on a roll. Um, it's the first time I would assume he's ever struggled uh, for quite a quite a while with the bat. Um, it's uh, you know it's interesting uh, uh, for for Miguel. The thing that we sort of could bet on or bank was his bat to ball, uh, getting hits, and um, and then some on base. So I think right now there's a little bit of some pressing, uh, but he, he's he's in it. He's grinding, but uh, you know, for me, I think that I'm going to be more mindful of trying to give him days off. Uh, if need be like we're doing today and uh, try to get them back on track but yeah this is a tough one um, but uh, still trying to figure it out. Does the way Bush is swinging the bat not only with you guys the quality of that bat the way he was swinging in Oklahoma City kind of give you the luxury of maybe running him out at second base and letting Miguel watch? Um, potentially. Uh, you know, Michael's do doing a really nice job filling in for Max. 
both uh, defensively and uh, in the batter's box. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes um, each day. I, I think for me, I think it's just kind of assessing each day and trying to figure out which kind of dynamic or it helps us win that day. So it is comforting knowing that Michael can play second base and being left-handed, there might be some opportunity from there, yeah. Or because of the it's pretty cool for a guy who I think in the minors was like, no, no, I, I think the biggest surprise is he's missing a lot of pitches that are in the strike zone. I think that's the biggest. That's the biggest uh, uh, thing that no one is trying. He's not trying to miss or foul balls off, but. You know, at this level, when you get pitches in the hitting zone uh, and you miss them and you foul them off or you pop them up, that's a hard way to live. And so I think for me, that's the most telling thing for me. Is that a sign that there's like mechanical stuff? There's some mechanical for me. Uh, there's a little late in getting ready. Uh, there's a little trying to do too much to the potential pulling the baseball uh, versus trying to just, you know, log some hits. Do you think there's still any residual from the hand stuff in the spring? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think I don't think that's it at all. Hey Dave, the, the way you guys came back yesterday and just the way these veterans don't seem to give up, do you feel like this is going to pay off at the end of the season? Because last year you never really had this type of adversity. I, I do. I, I do. Um, you never know how it's going to show itself as far as chemistry, desire to keep playing and fight. Um, but being battle tested like we have been all year, I think it speaks to some resilience. Um, and I think that will show itself. Um, guys are getting opportunities that might not have uh, by way of injuries and things like that. So we, 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 uh, this group has shown me a lot as far as how they play together. Yeah. Do you feel like the bullpen has showed you something bouncing back this week? I absolutely do. I think, uh, you know, for me, uh, you can tell with the bullpen, I think when our guys are at their best, uh, they're very efficient. And uh, to a man, um, when they get in there, they're attacking the strike zone, uh, inducing weak contact, uh, punching hitters out quickly. So that's a tell for me that they're attacking. And when our guys do that, they're, they're as good as anyone. Were you surprised to hear after that first game in Anaheim, or the second game in Anaheim, Phillips and Ferguson both pointed to what Kershaw did that first night that kind of set the example for them to be on attack mode and just the way he saved the bullpen. Are you, what does what Kershaw does, does that transcend from starting rotation to bullpen to the rest of your pitching staff? I, I think what, what Clayton does transcends to every baseball player or should transcend to every baseball player. Um, it's, you know, you don't always have your best stuff. Um, but I think the way he takes his outings, each at bat, it's personal. And I think that um, when you are on the mound or in the batter's box and you make it personal, that gives you that extra edge. And that's something that, for me, I've seen recently with our guys in the pen. Do you feel with that being said, I know personal awards don't mean a lot to him, but what he's meant to your team by staying healthy and doing what he's done as far as saving your bullpen after bullpen games multiple occasions, that his value should be peak when you try to judge him against other starters in the National League? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I haven't really kind of dug into all that, but speaking to our team, you know, he, he's been a, a stalwart, uh, the glue for this uh, this team this year, really. Um, I, I believe that you win with starting pitching and him making the starts, going deep in games, uh, giving us a chance to win every time he takes the mound. Uh, the exponential effect that he has on the on the group, the way he goes about it, all that stuff is huge value. Thank you.